This is a quick tip to show you how to use masks in Modo to mask between one material and another. So um, I've grabbed this mesh item from the preset browser, it's called Space Random 04, it's some kind of space gun. And then um, I've gone into the preset chrome materials and just dragged the sandblasted chrome out onto the mesh. Um, so if you look in the shader tree, um, you can see I've got a custom render tab here, but please don't let that uh, confuse you too much. Um, so in the shader tree, I've got my item mask, which is space random 04, and underneath that, I've got the sandblasted chrome material. So I'm just going to go to the top level of that material and just add another material on top. So what that's done is it's added a default material, which is going to override the sandblasted chrome. And if I just go to material ref, I'm just going to make the material black. I'm going to tick match specular, turn the specular down to zero, the Fresnel up to 20, click blurry reflection, uh, probably turn the roughness up to 100. And so that's given this sort of black metal a very dull sheen. Um, I'm going to add a noise layer. And this is going to give us our kind of burnt effect. To make it darker, I'm just going to turn the bias up to 99%. You can see that gives a sort of rough kind of burnt look. I'm going to add another noise material. And this time, I'm going to go to Texture Locator. If I right-click here on the gang thing, it means I can change all three settings at once. And I'm going to turn the size down to 2 millimeters, and then change the uh, surface shading to bump. OK, so that's given us our basic material. OK, so in order for the uh, mask painting to work, because I'm going to paint the mask directly in Modo, the mesh needs to be UV'd. So if I go to the UV tab and make sure I've got my space random selected in the item list, go to the list tab and where it says UV map, just click on new map. And uh, just to do this really quickly, I'm just going to go to UV projection tool, projection type atlas, and just click. Um, now I can drop the UV projection tool. This has created uh, basically a UV map that I can paint on um, really quickly. So now I need to create an image map to actually paint the mask on. So I'm going to go back to the render tab and uh, back in the shader tree, just underneath the uh, space random item mask, I'm going to go to add item, image map, new image. Now this doesn't want to be a transparent image, it actually wants to be a black and white image. So I'm going to save it as a JPEG, uh, just overwrite the one I created earlier. Um, and I'm going to make it 2K, uh, no alpha channel, and I'm going to set the color to white for clarity. So um, just do that. So you can see uh, this has created a new um, diffuse color for now, which is overriding everything else in the shader tree. And this is what we're actually going to paint our mask on. With everything set up, I can now go to the Paint tab and make sure that um, the image we've just created is selected in the uh, shader tree and it's got that little brush next to it. Then uh, select the brush, the airbrush tool, sorry. Um, right click to drag out a brush size, make sure the color is set to black. And now we can just paint on the mesh. So let's quickly make some kind of burn marks. And just to add a little bit of variety, I'm going to select a procedural brush and change the color to white. Right click to drag out a brush again, and then just sort of paint back some white to give this vague kind of burnt effect. That will do for this demonstration. Now, one thing you need to know uh, in Modo is when you save your item, it doesn't save, when you save your mesh, pardon, it doesn't save your images. So to save the image, you can either go into the Images tab here, right click and save, or you can go to File, Save Image, or Save All Images, uh, or you can go to Save All, and that will save everything that's loaded, including any other meshes you may have open or any other scenes. So do be careful with that one. Uh, but I'm going to go back to the Render tab now. And what we need to do is to create a new group from uh, all the stuff that we've just created. So if um, you shift select all the new items, the, uh, the image mask and the two noise items and the new material, hit Control G to make a new group. Uh, what you need to do is to select the image and where it says diffuse color, right click and go to shader control group mask. 
and we'll also need to invert the image in this case and now you can see what's happening is that uh, we've got our original chrome material and here in this area here is being masked out by our burnt material okay i hope that's uh, been helpful and thank you very much for watching